All right, hello everyone. I'm here with apparently the hardest English quiz you'll ever take. Um, Self-proclaimed by this website, Quizly. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna try it out. Let's see how I do. Let's see if you can do better than me. I'll also leave the link to this one in the description so you can check it out. So let's see. Uh, we have Let's Play right here. Right, and this is one of the top ones on Google that you'll find. So let's see how it goes. Uh, I know maybe there are twenty questions then, if it says five percent right here. So, which is the synonym of envisage? I don't know if it gives you the answers immediately, like after you do it. But let's see. So, synonym of envisage is imagine. Okay, first one is fine. What, which is the cor correct pronunciation pronunciation of anemone I think let's see anemone 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 maybe it's anemone I'm going for this one it's correct even though like this is so similar but okay which is the antonym of Oh wait, I think my voice was a bit too loud right there, I don't know, that was a bit weird, maybe the microphone was too loud, yeah, sorry if so, but anyway, so yeah, antonym of squire, um, opposite of squire, abandon, yeah, okay, so far so good, right, okay, which is the correct spelling of this synonym of ranking? Hierarchy. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, I think it's this one. Hierarchy. Yes, okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm doing alright. Alright, let's see this one. Make sure to dot your eyes. That's not a dif difficult one, I think. Anyway, which is the definition of unabashed? Unabashed? Not sure. I don't know, but I think not embarrassed. Yeah, so it's like it reminds me kind of of unfazed. Yeah, which is the synonym of paltry? Paltry. Synonym of paltry. Okay, this one I have no clue. Paltry. I don't even know this word actually. <laughs> Synonym of paltry, um, could be literally anything. Paltry, um, what, what's even an educated guess? What can I do here? What can I say? Paltry, insignificant? Oh my god, that was an actual good guess. I have just no clue. Okay. But it sounded like it should be a noun. I don't know. So which is the correct pronunciation of asterisk? Asterisk, asterisk. This one, though. No? I mean, many people say it like this, asterisk. But I'm sure the correct one is asterisk. Oh God. But people, people say it literally every way here. Asterisk. Okay, it's fine. Which is the antonym of begil? Begil. Oh my God. Okay. Um, let's see. I feel like it's be guilt. Sounds like something about guilty or be. I am lost. The opposite of this one. No clue. No clue. Like if you know this one, then you're a genius. Okay. <laughs> so, um, be guilt. I I don't know. It's gonna have to be a complete random guess. Confused. Okay, repel. So, begil is to charm. I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly. Beguile, begil, begil. I don't know. Okay, it's to charm. In fact, that kind of makes sense. I don't know how. It just seems like it makes sense. Now I saw it. Um, which is the correct spelling of a system of governments? Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. I believe the bottom one. Wait. Bureau, bureaucracy. Oh god, actually, wait. 
it's top or bottom, right? But bottom? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Fifty-five percent through. <laughs> Which of these is not grammatically correct? Oh, here we go. This is the where I embarrass myself. Todd and Michael went out for lunch to celebrate Luke's first day on the job. Todd. Okay. To celebrate Todd's first day on the job, he and Michael went out for lunch. Okay, Todd and Michael went out for lunch to celebrate his first day on the job. Oh god, okay, which, which one is incorrect? Todd and Michael went out for lunch to celebrate... Maybe the last one, because it doesn't say who... No, wait, Todd and Michael went out for lunch to celebrate Luke's first day on the job. You know what, like, they all seem fine, this is... <laughs> To celebrate, maybe because this one because it starts with two. To celebrate Todd's first day on the job, he and no, he and Michael went out for lunch. Oh god, I, I don't know. I'm going for this one. So this one, yeah, that's what I said. I said that because of the his, but then I was thinking maybe this one just because <sighs> because this one seemed like it could be unclear too. But yeah, makes sense. So it's the last one. I should have just put that. Okay. Also, I love this song that's playing right now. Which is the definition of stifle. To stifle is... Um, refuse to budge? Wait a second, what? No? Prevent some... That kind of is similar though, no? But it seems like people use it in that way. I think. You know what? I'm I'm lost. I'm not doing very well now, am I? Uh, which is the synonym of connote? Synonym of connote. Connote. What could it be? Con. Con is usually like. I'm thinking of other languages. I'm there thinking like. No, it's not something without, but it's not. It's more like together. Actually, that's so weird. Yeah, the connotes? No idea. Maybe imply? Seems like it could be. It is. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, never mind. I thought it said antonym, then synonym. I was like, okay. So, correct pronunciation of quinoa, quinoa, I think, quinoa, quinoa, I think it's quinoa, okay, I got it, quinoa, but like, I wonder how many people actually know that one, okay, what's, which is the antonym of reprobates, antonym of reprobates, Okay, so it sounds like you're reproducing something or redoing something. So, the opposite of this. Um, so, it's gotta be probably a verb, right? I think. Antonym of this. Maybe. What would be the opposite of like redoing something? No, okay. Um, I've got no idea. It might not even be a verb. Reprobate. Similar? I'm going for similar, I think. It was decent. Okay, so, shameless. So, y you can use it like, like shameless? That sounds really weird though, this type of word. To use it like shameless. Okay, that's interesting to know. Okay, and is decent really the opposite of shameless? I don't think decent would be. Okay, um, correct spelling of privilege. Wait, what? Oh, um, of the synonym of privilege, okay. Prerogative, it's prerogative, right? Not per, it's prerogative. This one? Oh my god, okay, it was prerogative. Wow. 
<laughs> okay. So maybe I've also like just have I been saying this wrong the whole time? I mean I never use this word. But prerogative. Okay. Right. Where are we? Eighty five percent. I wanna get out of here now. It's not not a good sign. Fill in the blank. Jennifer and Kim are coming but this one should be easy. They are running late. But like is my brain that gone now that it's not even that one? But they are running late. <laughs> okay. They gave us an easy one. Which is the definition of dulcet? It's first we've not even seen the answers, it reminds me of like dulce maybe. Could be like sweet. Something about sweet. Dulcet. Sounds like lacking worth. Just from intuition, pleasing to the ear. Oh, you know what? I sh I should have known. If I said sweet, it's like something sweet to your ear. That was just so stupid. But then I thought I didn't see anything like that. I didn't even read it properly. I, I can't lie. I didn't read that one properly. Um, like the answers. If I saw that, maybe I would have put that. Makes sense. Okay. Where are we? Is this the last one? Synonym of. Ensconce? Synonym of ensconce. Ensconce. To ensconce. So it sounds like en is usually like put, put something inside maybe or to make better. Ensconce. So maybe saw? Could be saw or dip I feel like. I'm going for saw. Settle. Okay. So it makes a bit of sense, I guess. N is like join, can be, no? So maybe you're joining people, you're settling in. Oh man, that was so bad. Okay, so this is the last one. Correct pronunciation of this one, Sherbet, no? Sherbet. Sherbet. So this one or Sherbet? Sherbet. First one? What? Sherbet. It's actually Sherbet. Everyone I've known has always said Sherbet. <laughs> okay, so apparently this is that's the standard English um, result. So wait, skip to the results. What's going on here? All right, so I got 12 out of 20, which is a very big disappointment, I think. You actually managed to pass this quiz. So that's a pass, 60%. I mean, I'll take that then, if that's a pass. Yeah, I, I don't know if they have different questions if you do it again. Do they? Let's have a look. No, it's the same questions. Which is not... That's no good, is it? That's no good. Anyway, 60%. I don't know. Do, do with that what you will. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, you can check it out. Try it yourself. Um... In fact, probably not, because they, I just realized they're the same questions. So if you've watched this video, there's no point doing it. But anyway, yeah, maybe if you did it before I did it, then it makes sense. All right, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one.